And new tonight, a Salinas-based realty company has agreed to pay thousands in fines to the EPA and spend thousands more renovating its apartments after failing to inform tenants about lead paint in some of the rental units. Lead paint, of course, can be very dangerous. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran is live in Salinas with Aaron, the properties identified by the EPA in the settlement, like the one behind me here, all have one thing in common. There are children living in those units or around those units, and that is why it's so important to fix this problem. A dozen Salinas apartments managed by Paini Realty were identified by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency as properties where tenants were not informed about the potential use of lead-based paint. This stems from inspections that took place in 2012. A representative from the EPA says the types of paint used in buildings built before 1978 could pose a serious health risk. Yeah, lead-based paint is um, and, and lead exposure is, is quite dangerous to children because lead's a neurotoxin. It potentially affects the developing brain of young children. As a result, we're very concerned about even relatively uh, low levels of exposure. The agency reached a settlement with Piney Realty over these violations. The local firm will have to pay a penalty of about $4,000 and spend over $38,000 in removing windows, doors, and kitchen cabinets with this lead-based paint. The company said in an email statement that they take the health and safety of their tenants seriously and, quote, the problem was that they disclosed the risk of lead-based paint to the tenants, but some of their notices were dated or not always initialed in the right places. They claim these violations are very technical and they're doing their part to fix the problem. The EPA agrees. This is unusual. Um, oftentimes companies choose just to pay a penalty, but in this case the company uh, worked with us and uh, came to a solution that we think is going to be very beneficial to the community. Some of the tenants I spoke to today had no idea about this potential risk. Both the EPA and Piney Realty say that they hope that this settlement will serve as a lesson to both property managers and the renters. Erin? All right. Thank you, Bianca. Piney Realty has 18 months to make these changes, and then they have to report progress to the EPA every six months. In Salinas, progress is being made in relocating more than 40 residents of an East Salinas care facility shut down by the state. Last week, Colonial Manor was ordered shut down amid a number of allegations that it violated health and safety codes. The state and county have since been scrambling to find new housing for all of the residents. As of Monday afternoon, less than 10 residents remained at that residential care facility.